great first night. Um, I, a number of people told me this independently. It seemed like the biggest first night I could remember in a while. I can't tell you long, several years or a few years at least. It probably, probably is the biggest first night. Yeah, but I. I I won't know that till later, but it probably is uh, because we were we were uh, going into the festival up somewhat on our registrations, yeah, which is good. Lots of um, lots of excitement as always this year. By detecting a little bit more of an uptick of enthusiasm this year compared yeah. to the economy and other things the last couple of years. I just got real feeling the buzz in the air. Yeah, I I I feel like. Um, People just came ready to celebrate, you know, or ready to receive, you know, because we believe that God speaks to hearts. And uh, I, there's just that, you know, you're right, there's been, with the economy and some other things, you know, it's been kind of, people have been a little, little down in some ways, but this year, boy, they're just like ready to go. Yeah. The, um, the, the entertainers themselves, the entertainers, the, the music has a lot of the established artists, of course, but a number of new people, last night, Family Force 5, into the show on Saturday night, the be Owl City. Uh, just the real, it seems like a conscious effort, correct me if I'm wrong, to have a lot of the newer, younger acts in there. Oh, always a conscious effort, yeah. We want, we want things that relate to, the, to our crowd, you know, particularly we're zeroing in on our youth. It's always been our emphasis, and we have to keep um, keep up with what is of interest to them um, and what translates well. Uh, we want to. My theory is we translate the good news of of Christ through music to the young people and the spoken word. But um, we we always want to be in a place where they're ready to hear. Mm -hmm. A number of great messages too planned. I had a bust of stories last night. I listened to that. And yes. For very moving, uh, putting your hand up, tell the coach. And yeah. Those of us when we get back home will be encouraged not to want to come out of the game. Yeah. Tonight, Louis, Louis Giglio, who is just uh, has a wonderful way of communicating to the crowd, and uh, Bob Lentz is a favorite. And um, so we have a lot of good things happening. Yeah. I'm sort of asking you a question, Pastor, that I know the answer to, but for folks who have not been at Creation, we're going to read and see this video back in our newspaper. What the Creation experience, the whole, what, it's hard to boil down to just a few sentences, I know, but how do you characterize it when you're on a plane talking to someone or meet somebody? Well, uh, I characterize it in a lot of different ways, but um, the theme, of course, is a tribute to our Creator. So. That, that's what we want to bring across, that this is all about the Lord, this is all about having a relationship with Him. But at the same time, uh, you're entering a new community when you come here. You know, you've stepped out of your home community. You're in a community where the vast majority of the crowd are here for spiritual reasons, to know God or to walk with God or to learn more about that or, uh, you know, they're open to God speaking to them. And um, so there is an attitude right away of this is a community. And it forms faster some years than others. This year it formed Wednesday night. There was no doubt as I walked through the crowd that people sensed the community, you know, that we're here for the same reason. You know, it, maybe, my, maybe my favorite band is not your favorite band, but we're here for the same reason. And uh, I, I, I sensed it earlier than ever. Usually it's like Thursday, but uh, it's great. The, um, I, I just think of, we talked once years ago when Creation Northwest was announced. Yes. Um, and I know you talked a little bit about other plans. Oh, no wrinkles or hints of things coming up for Creation. Obviously uh, bigger and better than ever. Um, as a, but just other, what do you think of as you look at Creation? Do you have Oh, in your in your dreams for the future, what do you what do you see or do? You... Well, our a twofold. Uh, we we do desire to expand in our nation, but the other side of things is that we um, desire to expand internationally, but more in terms of taking the gospel to third world countries. And so this this coming January, we're having a big festival in Ghana, West Africa. 
and um, uh, taking a lot of our musician friends over and speakers and uh, it'll be the first time ever for uh, it's not called Creation Fest, it's called Ghana Fest but we've done others in the past as you probably know in Morocco with Friendship Fest and so as God opens those opportunities and provides the resources for us to, to move forward we, we're going to open up more here in the United States, God willing, and in third world countries.